Pittsburgh, the, the whole system of institutionalized racism has been put on the table from voter suppression to uh, unequal COVID deaths, uh, education, healthcare, housing, wage differentials, uh, all of these racist uh, practices are crying out uh, to be dismantled. And, and, and you gotta ask the question, what will it take to accomplish this with unemployment at 25%? Uh, they say it dropped yesterday uh, just a little bit. We ain't paying too much attention uh, to that because it's double that in black communities and brown communities anyway. What will it take to accomplish this with unemployment at 25% generally and double that in black communities, right? What will it take to uh, accomplish this when people can't pay their mortgages and rent? What will it take now that employer health care is gone and folks can't afford to go to the doctor? You know, you got to ask, what are people supposed to do? This is an emergency and it requires emergency measures. To me, this is where uh, the struggle for uh, democracy meets the socialist moment. Capitalism can't solve the crisis. It couldn't solve it before COVID and it damn sure can't solve it now. The only possible means for addressing it is massive government intervention starting with the extension of unemployment compensation after July the 31st, but that's just the beginning. In light of what's happening on the streets, the uh, bills like the uh, Kamala Harris, uh, uh, Bernie Sanders, a $2,000 a month uh, proposal is looking better and, and better. Uh, you wanna avoid a social explosion in this country, uh, uh, they better think about that. But for that to happen, it's got to be organized uh, and connected to the election campaign. Uh, and Trump and the GOP have to be defeated in November. 